Um, a few people are watching this Hulk Hogan um, documentary. And one thing that I'd like you to kind of notice that while this guy has a gun to his head and thinking for three days that he's going to kill him, the one and only thing that stopped him from killing himself was somebody picking up a phone and saying, I love you. And as soon as he heard somebody loved him, as soon as he was participating with a group that accepted him, that's what stopped it. It's our ideas of love that are going to get us into trouble. And um, love that's attached to money is never, ever going to be a sign of love. It's love for money. It was Muhammad Ali's daughter. I would have assumed that, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of Muhammad Ali. You know, I would suspect there was so much wisdom that would have come from Muhammad Ali's daughter. But she's the one that used love <laughs> to stop him from killing himself, which is like, what a great thing, but ended up using that love to say, we love you, can you come and kill yourself a little more? We'd love to watch you kill yourself. We don't want you to shoot yourself in the head where we can't watch. No, we want you to do it in a ring where everybody can watch you kill yourself in the name of love. Really, really question your concepts of love because we've really got that one messed up. Um, I'm seeing even uh, one of my other sons um, loves me so much that he's putting me through an awful lot of pain. And you really have to have this unconditional love to be able to try and comprehend it. But uh, one of my other sons is a genius. Anybody can challenge that. Anybody can test that little theory out. But he is in the genius level. Always has been. Raising a genius is a friggin' challenge. Trying to educate a genius the difference between right and wrong is really, really hard because um, you tend to develop, I know it all. <laughs> and then when you get a teenager, any teenager that thinks they know it all is, is kind of a challenge for a parent. But when you have a genius who's a teenager and thinks they know it all, well, try being a parent to that. Try teaching the difference between right and wrong. This is a child that has been raised to um, believe family is the most important thing. So when this child is trying to, you know, get the mother to um, do what he thinks is the right thing, this leads to control issues. This, you know, and, and he's injuring his own health. Um, he can no longer talk to me because he thinks that I'm doing the wrong thing. Um, and, and the pain inside him is, is hurting his own health. He separated himself from family in the name of love. He really truly thinks that unless I do things his way, you know, then my life will not be perfect. The guy doesn't understand that. Hey, I'm happy. Why can't you be happy for me? I can only be happy in his eyes if I'm following his idea of, of good advice. But he can't recognize that how good is your advice if it's causing you health problems? You know, I know that the control is, you know, coming from a source of love, but that love is really, really freaking painful. Um, and it's not only painful for me, it's also painful for my son because of how we comprehend what love is. And love is... is you know, not pushing your concepts and ideas on other people, especially if it causes health problems. And that is the very idea of what my son wants me to do. He can't comprehend any health issues that I have. He wants me to push through it and make the money, and that's the only way that I'll ever get happiness. 
And for me, I just see that that's a wrong thing for me to do. He wants me to live a long, happy life, but he can't comprehend that if I do the type of work that he wants me to do, I know it will kill me. So it's like this kid is basically, you know, wanting me to die, but yet not wanting me to die. It's like friggin' insanity. So it is a matter of we really, really have to question what love is because love is not something that actually feels bad. Love is not something that harms your health. You know, love is not about, you know, like this Muhammad Ali's daughter that says, you know, we want to publicly watch you do harm to yourself in the name of love and in the name of Jesus and in the name of religion and in the name of wealth. So that's just another aspect of that film I'd like you to, to kind of look at that, you know, the only thing that stopped this guy from wanting to kill himself was love, you know, but um, our concepts of what love is is a little screwed up and uh, love does not mean that it feels bad. Love actually puts a smile on your face and you actually have a healthy body. If it leads to you getting the shit beat out of you and it goes against every medical profession says this is going to kill you if you do it, then that is not a good direction. It is not love. It's all about how to kill yourself in the name of love. And I wish a few people would get that, especially my own children, because uh, my children are doing no different than, than the, and, and I know in their hearts, it is love. But they got their concept of love by seeing a lack of love from their father. Their idea of love is identical to, to the love that their father taught them. And for some reason, I didn't have what it took to actually teach people that love means that you encourage, you inspire, you build up. You know, you try and put a smile on the other person's face. And you don't take advantage of other people. But it just seems like it, it, I must be completely wrong in this. So it's like, okay, here's a YouTube channel. Prove me wrong. Is my idea of love completely wrong? Or is what they're doing in the name of love right? I don't know at this point. You tell me what is right and what is wrong. Because I am freaking lost. Peace out.